Okay, we start by adding a clip to the timeline and then we need to duplicate it. So select it, hit Alt and then drag it upwards and now we've got two clips. Now, once you've selected this clip, right mouse button and go to new fusion clip that will turn this into a fusion clip, which allows us to work with it in fusion. Then the first thing, what we're going to do is hit shift spacebar and find magic mask, add it. Hold your shift button if it's not here and then drag it in the middle and it will automatically be added. Now another way how you can do this is by selecting the media in shift spacebar magic mask add and it will be added automatically. Right now before we move on with all of this it's important to know that there are two versions in DaVinci Resolve which you can use to do this one. The first one is the version in Fusion which we're going to address right now and then the second one is in the color page which is actually the one that DaVinci Resolve came with first. But the difference between the color page one and this one that I'm showing you here is that this one is slower, but allows you to make changes after your tracking, which basically makes this more permanent. And that has to do with the fact that the one on the color page will actually lose its tracking if you go to the edit tab and then decide to transform the image by moving it to the left, right, zooming in, etc. Now with the magic mask selected, go to a few frames forward and we can now scribble over our subject. So what we want to have selected in this mask. There you go. Now it automatically selects this, but I don't want the basket because I just want her. So there's a button for that, subtract, which I can use to draw over the basket. And that will subtract the basket from the mask. Now, if you want to delete one, click select, drag over it, it's selected, and now you can click delete and it will be gone. Right. And once this mask is to your liking, you can go to the matte tab and you can change things like blur. So you can blur the mask. Uh, you can either make it bigger or smaller, if that's something that you want to. And the gamma will change the brightness of the mask. Right. I'm just going to leave it at default for now. So we've done everything. We're going back to the tracking tab. And now we need to click this button. Track forward and track backward. And depending on your hardware, it will take a while for DaVinci Resolve to track forward and track backwards. Now, please keep in mind, because we now see the mask being tracked. But keep, keep in mind, if you want to change something, so the blur, for instance, because it's picking up a little bit too much, you will have to retrack it again. So don't worry worry if something needs to be fixed because you can do that but be sure to track it again right so now the mask is tracked we can now go to the color tab we need to make sure that we select our fusion clip so that's the top one and just for the sake of this tutorial uh, i'm going to change the color to a little bit orange and then once you're done with your color grading you can go back to the edit tab and you will now see that everything within the mask has changed color wise and everything outside of it not and now let me show you a before and after so i'm going to play the clip i'm going to activate this layer and there you go a before and after and obviously it needs tweaking but this is how to use the magic mask